Today, I'm going to show you how to back up with SyncBack on Windows 11. First, take your backup drive and plug it in to your desktop or laptop. Next, go down here on the taskbar and click on the SyncBack icon. It looks like two arrows, one pointing up and one pointing down. If you don't have the sync back icon at the bottom, go over here and click on start, type in sync back, and click on sync back free at the top. In sync back, you're going to have one called backup, or in rare cases, it will say everything. Go ahead and click it once so it turns blue. Now at the bottom, go down and click on run. Now it's going to compare with on the source and the destination, and it's going to tell you what it's going to back up. Go down here and click on Continue Run. Once it's finished, it'll say Result Success. Congratulations, you've just made a backup. Now if the backup says Fail, it means that it couldn't backup one or more files. So just go ahead and close all your programs you have open, run sync back again, and this time it'll probably back up the file that was currently in use. With any luck, next time it'll say success. If it says scan failure, it just means that it can't find the backup drive to back up to. So first, just unplug the backup drive and plug it back in. Then open sync back and try backing up one more time. If it still says scan failure, it's possible that the drive letter of your backup drive has changed. Let me show you what that looks like. So first we're gonna go ahead and open up sync back and we're gonna try to run the backup again. This time it's trying to find the destination. But my backup drive now has a different letter than what it's expecting. All right, it failed and said failed to, to prepare the destination. The drive E does not exist. So let me show you how to fix it. Let's go ahead and close this log. On the bottom, you're gonna have a yellow manila envelope. Go ahead and click it just once. Now click on this PC on the left and let's look for your backup drive. In this case, this is my backup drive. And you'll notice that it has drive letter L. So let's go back into SyncBack and look at what drive letter it thinks I have. It says it's trying to find the backup drive on drive letter E. Let's go ahead and fix it. So go down here and click on Modify. And then simply take the E and change it to an L or whatever your backup drive letter is. Now go ahead and cl click OK. And let's try running the backup one more time. Success! This time it found the backup. Well, that's just been a demonstration on how to backup with SyncBack Free on Windows 11.